Welcome. And thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. This guy is not Billy. That guy's not Mike. You know what I mean? And today we bring you the Balvini. 12-year-old, single barrel, first fill, underlined, bang. So, Billy, Balvini Distillery, Speyside, we've done a few. He literally wouldn't tell me this off camera, so I'm learning with you. We've done a few Balvinis. Uh, we've done the 12-year-old double wood. We've done the 17-year-old double wood. We've done the 15-year-old single cask. Uh, I single just, barrel. I just read the thing. And the 21-year-old. So what this is, is this is the 12-year-old single barrel first fill. This is, for any of you that have this whiskey at home, this is cast number 5816 and bottle 100 even. And I gotta Look say- Look how light that color is. I, yeah, real light. Wow. Only ex bourbon barrel maturation in this one. I don't know if it's colored, but there's, there's, no, there's, there's no way it's colored. There's no way. I mean, I would think no, but there's no way that's colored. Look at that. I would think that that wouldn't be the case, but who knows? Anyway, it's, al it's almost like water in West Virginia. Right? Tell you a little bit about this whiskey. This first fill, meaning it's the first time in health. Not chill filtered. Non chill filtered, 47.8% ABV, like most of the single barrel series. Like the 15 year old single barrel and the 15 year old single barrel sherry cask. What's unique about this one is it is first fill and they do underline it here and it's aged a little bit less than the 15 year old. It's only aged 12 years. But this is essentially whiskey that had ex American bourbon in it and then it never had a Scotch whiskey in it. Only Scotch whiskey has ever been in it is from the Balvini distillery. Now I heard that Balvini gets most of their barrels from Maker's Mark. So essentially. Oh. A barrel held Maker's Mark whiskey in it. We were just talking about that off camera. Yeah, and then got broke down, sent to sent to Speyside in, in Scotland, and then used one time to make this single barrel. I'm gonna just interject here. Usually, I always leave him up to the, all the technical shit. This, the container that they send with you, they give you so much information. So Taste much. Tasting notes, uh, what all the things on the barrel are called. Yeah, the, uh, the, 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 hint, the bulges, the bilges, uh, how they char the wood. A lot of information on this, too. A it's ton of really, information. You know what? Like, the th rivets, that's really nice. The bunghole. Is that really a word? Bunghole? Bunghole. Yeah. That's how they fill and empty the cast. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It says that right here. But bunghole is just it's funny. <laughs> it's a funny word. It's a it's funny, funny word. word. The staves. So it tells you basically all the parts of the cast because a lot of it's about the cast building. It really is all about the it, the wood is what makes it. You know what I mean? It matures it and it does the thing. And it... Now, Balvini replaced the 15 year old single barrel, which we did um, whiskey review, I believe, 47. Great whiskey. How does he remember all this? Great. I look at it ahead of time. I literally don't remember how he remembers all this. Great whiskey. The So now it's the 15 year old single barrel is a sherry cask, which isn't even a barrel, it's a butt. But, and the 12 year old is the ex bourbon one. So I love the 15 year old single barrel. I love pretty much all the Balvini single barrels. Balvini is known for vanilla and honey. Mm -hmm. Balvini is known for they have really good whiskeys. So let's dive into this one, my friend. Dude, let's look I, at the color I, first. I was hoping you would say that. Color is extremely light. I'm not extremely sure if it's natural light. color or not, but I will say this: it's extremely light. I would I, call it straw. I have to say, I highly doubt that they've uh, messed with the color on this because it is so light. Why would you purposely make your... I've heard the single barrel series or... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of another whiskey. I, I don't know if it's colored or if it's not colored. You it doesn't what? say it's natural color, so that always worries me. I always uh, think that it's not. I, okay, okay. I always think it's not. Anyway, let's look at the legs. He's brainy, mommy. They're very slow. Slow, kind of close together. Yep. They run faster than, say, the the Glenn Moore and G team we just had. So they run a little bit faster than that. Watch so, that review. Even though, even though that was higher alcohol content, obviously this is not as oily of a whiskey. Yeah. Okay, let's go for a smell. Surprisingly sharp. Wow. It's not, it's not extremely complex. Apples. Sour apples. Apples all day. Sour green apple. Absolutely. Granny Smith sour green apple. Wow. That is sharp on the nose. I feel like if I sniffed that too long, I would sneeze. It's not alcohol, though. It's, no, no, no. Just sharp, like a... It, it's sharp sourness. Wow. A little bit of vanilla. 
I get vanilla. I'm getting notes of vanilla. I'm getting notes of uh, maybe ginger. <sighs> maybe know. honey. Honey or ginger? I don't think honey. I think so it's I, ginger. Something I can't pinpoint right now. Wow, that is. It's aggressive. Almost. It's almost peachy a little bit. He, like it's almost like those weird little peach candies. Wow, that is. Oh, it's so sharp though. It's just. It's like the 50s. It's snappy. It's cold. It's like, it's like the first cold, brisk yes. winter. It's the first. If you're in the, if you live like in the northeast wow. or the north part of um, the United States, you know what it's like when it's fall and that first morning you wake up and it's cold? Like the first frost? It's like that. Bites you right in the nose. I get, I get green apple. I get. Definitely green apple. Sour All green apple. Long. Yeah. Let's take a little sip. It's like a 50s school mom who would put up with no sass. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's on you. You can't, you can't disguise it. It's on you. Mmm. 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 Sweeter on the palate mm -hmm. than it was on the nose. After you swallow for a minute, the sour comes back. Wow, but there's a sweetness. Initially, there's a sweetness. There's a tangy. There's a tangy. There's a there's a Ooh, burny. And then it's dry. Yeah, it's almost like a merlot at the end there. That's ooh, that's nice. It's like a charred oak, charred vanilla oak characteristic to it. I, I'm not a fan of Jack Daniel's whiskey necessarily, but sometimes when wow. I, I've smelled like if you just open up a bottle of Jack Daniel's mm -hmm. and you pour that first shot out at someone at the bar, you get a Charcoal vanilla, yeah, note to it, yeah. Charcoal and vanilla, yeah. Because the way it's made, they put over, they make, they uh, char that maple, literally, yeah. And they kind of strain it in that. I get a little bit of that in a more refined way. It's interesting that you just said maple. There's a mapley. It gave me like a pancakey, syrupy type. Yeah. I don't know if I'm imagining that, but wow. You know, I'm getting a little bit more water. Mike, this. what does this go for? This is an inexpensive bottle. And again, this is 47.8% like most of the single barrel Ooh. series. So you're getting a little bit extra ABV out of this. A little, um, little, higher, little higher content that I, I like to drink. I think it goes for roughly 60 bucks. That's not bad. And it's not bad. That's not bad. Well, it's a high proof. It's 47.6, not cast strength, but it's high proof. It's single barrel, it's a first fill cask. It doesn't have a long finish, but that sourness, that, that, that green apple it sourness really go is away. still there. It doesn't really go away. Yeah. I love that because I'm a Granny Smith apple kind of guy. Yeah. Um, I'm also, I, I'm a, Granny Smith is my number one fave. Great. Rayburn, Fuji. So I like those kind of bittery, soury apples. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this is. Oh, this is a bitter, sour it's apple. It's so good. Not in a bad way, it's though. It's so good. This is not um, what I would typically think of as a Balvini. Oh, you know, the, the the double woods, the twelve and the seventeen were richer. You know, it's been so long since we've done. That's my hillbilly coming out. It's been so long since we've actually made those videos that I don't. I really kind of don't remember. Yeah, they were I, richer. I mean, we've done so many. By the way, can we get props for doing these videos? Like we do a lot of it. Can we get a like? Maybe Ooh, a subscribe. Can, we, can you hit the like button, please? Can you subscribe and then unfollow if you don't really don't want to subscribe? I'll do that. Just stay, just stay subscribed. It's okay, fun. so let's see what water's done to this. I, I have high hopes for adding water because I tell you what, the water, the one we did earlier, water helped. Let's we'll see if this water helps us. Oh, it opened it up. Yeah. It opened it up nice. What is the second whiskey in a row we've done where I, I'm actually going to recommend water? Right. Which is awkward because we never do that. Never hardly. Ever. I'll do a 12 year old Lagavulin and cast strength and not recommend water, but I tell you what, this one, <laughs> this one, you know what, it's easier to segregate the smells now. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, everything's not on top of you at once. It's definitely opened it up a bit. There is that sour. Oh, that sour's not going nowhere. No. It's like a green Jolly Rancher. A sweet, lovely sour, though. Oh, I'm not even mad about it. Like, when, like There's I don't, an apple. when people hear the word sour, immediately they, eh. no, 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 it is no, not no. sour like that. No, it's pretty. It's like a pretty sour. But I like sour stuff. Same. I like a green sour apple. If you like a green sour apple, 
You're gonna be digging yeah. this. You're gonna be digging this. Wow. It's almost like apple chips. You know you ever have like a dried apple chip? Like not, yes. yes. You know what I mean? It's like yep. that. It's yep. almost now with water, it's almost like a sugary characteristic comes out. Yeah. More I'm, vanilla? I'm really curious what this is gonna taste like now with the water. Let's give it a Should we should we uh, uh, Oh, Do you pick up anything caramel here? I'm picking up more vanilla. I, I think a hint of caramel, a wisp. I'm almost getting caramel. like a banana. Is that weird? I'm almost getting a banana. I'm definitely... What kind? It's ripe? Almost, run ripe? It's not almost, no, a really, really ripe. Like black spotted. Old banana? Like you want to make banana bread. You don't want to really eat it, but you want to make banana bread. You don't have a banana tree in the back of my house. Are you fucking kidding me? And they never grow tall enough to get... Like, to we don't have enough weather for that. Get, yeah, We're you get bananas, but yeah, it's a big leafy thing. Wow. I do. I really get a banana. I tell you what, this is a lot better experience on the nose with water. I'm loving this. A lot better. I am loving this. So, if you're... I, We guys usually drink things neat. Yeah. We usually drink things neat. Yeah. But um, if you're someone who normally drinks things neat, if you have this one, throw some water in it. it that would be my recommendation. Yeah, it's it's weird for us because Mike and I have very similar uh, interests in scotch and whiskey and bourbon. Different palates, but similar... Clearly lots. different palates because I get things that he doesn't get and he gets things I don't get. But it's good. I like this. I mean, for 60 bucks or whatever it is, going, it's, it's a good buy. I, I have to taste it with the water. Yeah, let's, let's hit it. Let's I hit have it. to taste it with the water. Mm. Thing there. What the water gave me more vanilla and gave me more caramel. It definitely, honestly, that's exact perfect. It sweetened it up a bit. Yeah. 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 That's, definitely. That's fantastic. Oh my goodness. Great whiskey. Sixty dollars. Sixty bucks. How can you beat that? You know that is one. I miss the Balvenie fifteen-year-old single barrel, as opposed to the single barrel sherry cast. But I this is a. Nicely done whiskey to add to the range, dude. Without a question. <laughs> I said it last video, and I'm gonna say it again. I'm buying this. Yeah, it's good whiskey. Like tomorrow. That's. Yeah. That's something you need at your house. So, what do you yeah. think whiskey score was? You know, I'm exactly the same as the last one. I'm at 88 out of 100. I'm at 89. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good whiskey. It's fantastic. It's different, you know. It's again, it's 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 sour. It's apple. It's um maybe a touch of watermelon. I was getting a weird banana thing. You know, like that's just me. But teach their own, you know. I mean, that, right. that's that's why right. it's important to take your own whiskey journeys. Yes, yes. But anyway, we want to thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's oh whiskey reviews. Oh my God! Seriously, thank you so much. We would appreciate it if you give us a like on this video. It blows my mind that one know. person watches this. You know what I mean? Hey, I watch it. So that's one. Beauty. I have a sister, so that's two. Well, there we go. Yeah, we're working. <laughs> did anybody? Did anybody mention shirts? Did they? Man. Nobody wants a shirt. Huh? No, no one wants a shirt. What if we gave away a free shirt? Would you want that? We'll see. Maybe. Uh, literally, guys. Me and Mike do these together. I'm a very busy person. Mike, any comment that you guys put on the on the uh, YouTube? It's literally Mike getting back to you. It's not somebody, one of our assistants, or you know, one of somebody that we pay to do this. We we do this because we fucking love it, and uh, we love you guys, and we want to share every you know our experiences. But li you're literally actually talking to Mike. So if you guys got any questions or suggestions or any, if you hate us, go ahead. Hey, talk to Mike. Let us know. It, cause I don't, has anybody even recommended anything? Tons of stuff. Really? Tons of stuff. So he must have a list because this guy is meticulous. Anyway, seriously, thank you so much. We couldn't be here without you. Well, we are here without you. Nobody gives us money. Mm. So <laughs> we are here. Write your name on the back of a hundred dollar bill, send it to us, and we'll answer your question. As always, we want to thank you for joining us for yes. another one of Mike and Billy's whiskey reviews. And as always, happy drinking. Happy drinking.